Okay, so I know I told you that I'm a huge Star Wars fan and a big geek for all kinds of fandoms. But what I might not have told you is that one of those fandoms is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And if you've never seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer, it was created by Joss Whedon, the same guy who uh, directed Avengers and co-directed the Justice League. Don't hold that against him. And uh, But he also created a bunch of shows like Firefly, and which you know was also Serenity, and, and, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Buffy the Vampire Slayer started out with a, a, a comedic movie in the 90s that Joss Whedon absolutely hated. It did not fit what he wanted to do with Buffy at all. So then he created a TV show that was the most popular TV show on television at the time, starring Sarah, starring Sarah Michelle Gellar. And the character of Buffy is essentially like a cheerleader, popular girl who finds out that she's the chosen one to help fight off the forces of evil. And she was helped by her watcher, who is someone who would give her the insight that they need, that she needed to know about the, the, the demons and monsters and vampires and all that so that she could fight them. Her watcher was a librarian because they are the greatest. And um, the show went for several seasons. Well, after the show ended, they continued seasons of the show in comic book form. Uh, so the story kept going. But there's a new addition to this Buffy the Vampire Slayer world, and that is YA novels written by Kirsten White. So this is the first in a series of books. There's two out so far, and there's more coming. Uh, and this book is called Slayer. So this is after all the events of the comic books and stuff like that, after, after the events of the, of the TV shows, um, the, the, the Slayers are gone. There may never be slayers again. There's no evil. Like what? They don't believe that that these things that they've been preparing for are still going on, but they could, and they're still preparing just in case. So there's actually like a watcher training academy, and there's people that are on the watcher council, and they're trying to, you know, figure out what what are the next steps. What do we do now that the world has sort of, in a way, ended and come back, and 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 somehow we've all survived. What do we do? And so there's two twin sisters, Nina and Artemis, and their mom is on the Watchers Council. And Nina and Artemis have been training forever to be Watchers. But Nina is like, she's, she's not very athletic. She's not very, she's kind of the, the underdog, the student who nobody really expects much from, other than the fact that Nina is very knowledgeable and talented when it comes to first aid. She is, she's created sort of a, a plan to help watchers know how to take care of their charges, their slayers, um, in, the, in the medical sense, to take care of them. But slayers are something that are chosen. You don't choose to be a slayer. You are chosen as a slayer. And Nina discovers that she might be the next chosen one. They didn't think there would ever be another chosen one, but she might be. And maybe there are still evil forces at work and evil things going on in the world that require a slayer to fight them. And maybe some of those evil and horrible things that are going on are coming almost straight out of the, watch, the Watcher's Academy. So she, along with the people she trusts, may need to do something about that. But also, what if the people she trusts aren't trustworthy? You got to check out Slayer by Kirsten White, and if you like it, the second book is called Chosen, and it is it is an outstanding, fun, quick, um, just a great read. 